Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And in this session, we are going to discuss about regression matrices. Basically, uh, under regression matrix, uh, as an evolution matrix, we are having following uh, key terminology like MAE, that is mean absolute error, and MSE, that is mean squared error, and RMSE, that is root mean squared error. So, with the help of an example and uh, uh, in detailed, let's learn each and every key terminology here, right? So basically, the first terminology here is mean absolute error. So mean absolute error is nothing but it is an average of absolute difference between prediction value and actual value, right? So whatever uh, there is a prediction value and there would be some difference between the prediction value and actual value, right? That difference is going to be considered as an error. Now the average error average error of that complete data set can be called as mean absolute error, right? And the formula is simply mean absolute error is equal to uh, 1 divided by n as we are going to figure out the average from i equal to 1 to n and it is nothing but difference between prediction value and average value, right? Okay. Now the second term is mean squared error. So mean squared error is average of squared differences between prediction and actual value. Just like the previous here, what we are doing, we are figuring out square between the square of difference between prediction value and actual value and the average square difference is going to be called as mean squared error. One more thing is there, root mean squared error that is nothing but under root mean square error is called as root mean squared error, right? Now, basically, uh, how to calculate them and how to interpret them? Uh, basically, we can solve it using the following example. Let's say uh, we are having a uh, regression model that predicts house prices based on certain features, right? And we collected data on actual high, uh, house prices and the corresponding predicted prices for five houses. So let's say the house prices, actual prices are $200, $300, $400, $500, and $600. These are these were the, our actual prices. But the predicted prices was $220, $280, $380, $520, and $590. These are predicted value predicted by the model. Now we need to calculate mean average error, right? MAE. Right. Thereafter, we need to calculate mean squared error and RMAC, that is root mean square error. So the first one that is uh, we are going to calculate here is MAE. Right. So it is nothing but you need to calculate difference between 220 minus 200. So here Y minus YI, that is actual minus actual minus predicted. Right, so actual is 200 minus predicted. Predicted was 220. So it is 20. As we are calculating, it would be positive, right? So <clears throat> 20 plus difference here is 300 minus 280. That is 20 plus 400 minus 380. That is 20 plus 500 minus 520. That is 20 plus 600 minus 590. That is 10. So if you are going to calculate them, this is 90 and divide by n, total 5 values. So we are again going to get 18. So MAE is 18 here, MAE. So here, if you can see here, mean absolute error, mean absolute error, this formula we are calculating, right? So mean absolute error is 18. So what interpret, it interprets that if we are using this model and it is having uh, the difference of 18. So if this model is going to predict the house prices in future, we may, we need to consider that it may have a difference of 18 on an average on actual versus predicted, right? On the other hand, let's, if we are going to calculate mean squared error in the same value, we need, we are going to calculate it with the, uh, with the help of a square, the same thing, difference of this, 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 and this, and uh, uh, square of that, right? So 20 ka square plus uh, again 20 ka square plus 20 ka square plus 20 ka square plus 10 ka square and we need to divide it with the 5. So it would be 1700 
divide with 5 it is 340 so mac that is mean squared error is 340 what we are doing we are just calculating the difference between actual price and predicted price that is 20 and thereafter we need to calculate square of it after doing so we need to divide it with the n total values in the data set right so that is the mean squared error that is 340 here now one more thing is rmac that is root mean squared error that is under root mac so if you are going to calculate under root mac what is mean squared error 340 so if you are going to put 340 here the answer would be 18.44 it is your it is your root mean squared error right now what interpretation we can make here that mean absolute error uh, is 18 here which indicates that on an average our predictions can be $18 fluctuate from actual versus uh, prediction. Mean squared error is here is 340 which is emphasizing very larger error due to squared term and root mean squared error it is approximately 18.14 which is the same unit in dollar as the target variable which is making interpretable and easier to understand compared to MSE. Particularly uh, the thing is that we only need to want we only need to figure out the insight of models performance in terms of prediction accuracy versus error magnitude, right? So lower value of RMAC and MAE, the lower value of RMAC and MAE indicates that model is performing good. So models performance is good if MAE that is mean absolute error will be low and RMAC root mean squared error is low because this value is low means your error would be comparatively low just like uh, plus minus something plus minus 5 plus minus 10 that is okay but if it is plus minus 100 plus minus 200 means larger error so model is not performing well right so if the value of mae and rmac is low means it is indicating your model's performance is better in minimizing prediction error relative to the actual values right so these are so, uh, some of the regression metrics which we have discussed that is mean absolute error mean squared error and root mean squared error with the help of this example. I hope this particular topic is clear. For more such topics, please subscribe. Stay tuned. Have a nice day guys. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.